Mach ich, mach ich alles. Lohnt sich. Ja, ah, gut. Hier ist eine der lokalen Schulen. Und in der Front uh, ist das Armenian Alphabet. Du musst nicht ein Lover sein, um in den Lover's Park zu gehen. Nein. Nein. No. But, but it helps. But it helps. <laughs> <laughs> It is important to uh, support those kids who are working for the future for Armenia. And uh, to get uh, this kind of support from you? <laughs> In vitro conditions, out of our body, uh, under Wi-Fi rays, cells can turn into cancerous cells. These people have got amazing potential. You're our future. Hi everyone. Hello. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mitch. And I'm Mrs. Mitch. For those of you who don't know, yeah. <laughs> today, Tuesday. I have no idea what the day is today, but Tuesday. it's uh, Tuesday, the something of uh, May yeah. 2023. Yeah, 20, 20 something, I think. Yeah, anyway, yeah, whatever. We are here uh, not far from our place. We're now, um, you'll see in the background, there's a um, uh, little uh, market, open air market there. Yes. Um, we're going to go for a walk uh, down through the metro, which we'll show you in a minute. There's a metro underground uh, like shopping mall. Yeah. Then we're going to walk into um, walk along Bagramyan Avenue, mm -hmm. which will take us to the city. Yes. We're going to go and meet some uh, lovely young um, students, uh, Armenian uh, medical students, mm -hmm. who have a very very interesting project we want to tell you about. Yes. And so uh, please come along and join us. I think you're going to like this uh, little adventure. Yeah. And we're going to show you some things on the way which I think you'll find very interesting. Right, we will begin our journey. Go down through the metro shopping area underneath. A lot of these shops aren't open yet because uh, 10, 10.30, sometimes even 11 o'clock they'll open up. Huh? <laughs> ah, good. <laughs> sort of famous little eatery here on the corner. They're quite popular. With kebabs and things like that. Mm -hmm. This lady here is making jingaloo hearts. This is the entrance to the metro. We're near going to the right, up here. And this will take us onto Bagramyan Avenue. A busy intersection, this one. Oh, anyway, here we are. A new cafe, it's really, really good. It's called Sirius. one of the um, newer Chinese buses. We've got four and five storey uh, apartment blocks here made of the tube stone and underneath these uh, little businesses it's very common here in Armenia. This is a great shop that we discovered uh, the other day. It's called Orchid Gallery. We bought one of those uh, uh, red flowers with the big leaves. I don't know what you call that. There's a trolley bus. Soviet, old Soviet trolley bus, Mrs. Mitch. Yeah, I know. How long have they been in existence? Oh, I remember here as them from 70s. Here's one of the local schools. And in front uh, is the Armenian alphabet. Just up here, it's the American University of Armenia. 
Oh, mulberry. Oh, the mulberries are starting. You're right. Got a good reputation at university. This is statue of Marshal Bagramian. Uh huh. Yeah. This is his statue. That's why it was crossed the name by his name. This is government house here on this side. We don't usually walk down this side, but I quite like it. And over the other side is Lovers Park. It's a beautiful park there, actually. You don't necessarily have to be a lover to walk in Lovers Park, do you? No. 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 But. But it helps. But it helps. <laughs> <laughs> Big area across the other side. That's Parliament House grounds. It's very beautiful. Very pretty in there. There's another school here. <laughs> that's the Opera House. And we're going to go left here. Big cafe, restaurant, precinct here. All right, this is a cute one. A cute little restaurant. Yerevan is just starting to wake up, Mrs. Mitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's for sure. There we are, lots and lots of little cafes down there, lots of them. We arrived here at uh, the Cascade yeah. uh, complex and up yeah. the top there is a very important um, monument. Yeah. What's that one? Uh, free, free, free Armenia mm -hmm. and this cascade connecting the uh, center of Yerevan with Victory Park. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's very beautiful inside here. There's lots of art galleries inside there. And uh, we're going to meet our young people here in just a minute. Yeah. There's all little restaurants and cafes on the other side too. Very pretty. So everyone, we've uh, we've just had coffee with our uh, lovely young uh, friends we've just met. I'd like to introduce you to Mane and Mahir. Uh, Mane and Mahir, we met the other day. Um, before we ask anything about yourselves, maybe you could tell our audience how we actually met each other. Yeah. So um, our teacher, uh, she's a biology, biology teacher, and we came to uh, ISA Science Competition Award Ceremony. And during the award ceremony, uh, we met Peter, and we were really passionate about uh, him, and we wanted to talk to him and ask if he could uh, support us in any way. So that's why how we got uh, acquainted. Yes. And Mahe. Um, if, if Maher, you want to speak in uh, Armenian, you can. No, I can say it in English. Uh, so uh, we, we, uh, we will be there uh, together in ISA, and uh, that's the reason we know each other. Okay, so can you explain uh, what is ASA, A-E-S-A, -E what is that? And what was the award ceremony about? Uh, ISA, uh, if I'm not wrong, it's open. Um, uh, uh, American science engineering. Uh, American engineers and engineering scientists science. of Ar of Armenia. Of Armenia, yes. And we also have uh, we also participated uh, in ISA twice. Uh, this year we came to awards ceremony to support our teacher because we are already students. Uh, but we have participated before. That's why how we know about ISA. What are you studying? And uh, whereabouts are you studying? Uh, so what field? Are yes. What field yes. are you in? So since high school we were really interested in uh, science and chemistry, biology and with the help of our teacher we have done several research projects and uh, since then we were participating in different Olympiadas, competitions uh, until we get to the university. Right now we are first year medical students. Mm -hmm. The first year of the first year, whereabouts, whereabouts are you studying? Uh, we are studying in the Yerevan State Medical University in mm -hmm. first year. Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, 
we are 90 years old and uh, after that uh, we uh, think about to be a scientist uh, to do something uh, researches in uh, uh, about uh, human health mm -hmm. maybe you can tell us a little bit more about FEBS uh, what exactly is it and why it's so important for you to attend so uh, as I said FEBS is a scientific international conference uh, where different uh, scientists from all around the world come and uh, represent their projects uh, either by uh, poster or by oral speech. So many different uh, scientists and different people all around the world come here and this is a big event which will be held on, on July 8th from till 12th July. Uh, so we are really happy to have this opportunity to participate and go there even though we are very young we are students and usually participants there are scientists already so that's why we feel this is a, a big uh, opportunity and uh, this is an uh, honor for us to be present. Mm -hmm. Are you and uh, Mane uh, being invited to attend along with who else? Two yeah. other people, yes? Yes, uh, with our uh, first teammate and our uh, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, we go, uh, we are going there for uh, four persons. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we are uh, not from uh, the only group from Armenia. There are other groups, okay. but uh, we are the youngest group. I guess it's the uh, biggest chance to start our career yeah. as well. Yes, and also about our other teammates. So mm -hmm. as we have said, we are four people. Our biology teacher, mm -hmm. Rubina Harutsuyan, and uh, other teammate Mahel Urbinyan, who is third year. Your brother? Yes, he's uh -huh. my brother. He's Ma Mahel. Mahel also. Yes, he's also Mahel. So, through our channel, uh, we are hoping that maybe we can help to raise some money because it's very, very special and important uh, research project that you're conducting. Can you tell us a little bit more about your research project because it's very fascinating to me and I'm sure to our viewers also. Yes, all of us know knows that we are always under Wi-Fi rays. Even here outside standing here, we're still under Wi-Fi rays. So uh, has anyone thought whether this radiation is harmful for our cells? Uh, that was the same question that we uh, had in our mind. So that's why we have started this research project. We have examined the influence of Wi-Fi rays uh, on our cells uh, out of our body. So we used uh, cells, human cells and cancerous cells and we put them under Wi-Fi rays in a certain amount of time uh, in the laboratory. We have done our research work in the Molecular Institute of Armenia we, uh, and we're very thankful for that. Uh, so after results that we have received, uh, it showed that the human cells, uh, they had a very uh, elevated uh, amount of ROC, uh, which means uh, reactive oxygen species. And also there was a big uh, amount of damage of our DNA. We did a comet assay me method, which showed the damage of DNA uh, in human cells. And also it re we also uh, checked the act activity of certain enzymes catalase and other enzymes which were which are responsible for uh, the uh, oxygen uh, reactive oxygen species in our cells uh, basically the results show that when our cells out of our body are under Wi-Fi rays constantly under Wi-Fi rays they can turn into cancerous cells basically those are the results that we have obtained which means that when we checked the results of the cancerous cells, there was not much of a difference, but the results from uh, obtained from the human cells, they were quite very like obtained from cancerous cells, which basically means that in vitro conditions out of our body, uh, under Wi-Fi rays, cells can turn into cancerous cells. Uh, we have put these cells under Wi-Fi rays only, so we made sure that they were only under Wi-Fi rays and no other rays mm -hmm. around. So that's why we are uh, conclu concluding, uh, here is our conclusion, that Wi-Fi rays can be dangerous for our body. Mm. Uh, although uh, the research, research was conducted on the cells out of our body, we may say that our body has a regulation uh, uh, in, inside of our body there is a regulation mechanism mm -hmm. which can uh, repress the bad side effects of Wi-Fi right. rays mm -hmm. but the cells out of our body they go uh, under 
through changes which uh, lead to become them more like uh, cancer mm. cells. Mm. Yeah. So, so that's why we're really passionate about yeah. this research and we're uh, thinking that this is a great opportunity for us to develop our research and obtain more precise uh, results uh, mm -hmm. to communicate with different scientists and with the help of their advice. Uh, um, get, uh, that they can help us to uh, make this uh, uh, work on a human body, not in cells. Just mm -hmm. uh, and but uh, for this we uh, mm -hmm. we need a little bit uh, more help yeah. and help for the uh, biggest scientists in the world. So yeah. uh, to do this. Uh, yeah, yeah, research. Research, yeah. It's really great. Uh, I guess the last advice from uh -huh. us is uh, to turn off the Wi-Fi as uh -huh. we do during night. Ah, this yeah. is very good Sleep advice. without Wi-Fi rays. You can turn off the modem in okay. your house yes. and turn At off your phone. during night, yes. Right, very good advice. So, um, Alamana, how much money have you raised so far and how much money do you need uh, for you to be able to go to this conference in France? Uh, well, uh, we have opened a fundraising page uh, because we uh, find it the most convenient way to receive money uh, this short amount of time. So right now we need uh, around 2,500 uh, euros uh, for our participation. Uh, so this includes 814, 815 euros for registration fee. Uh, we also need around 1,500 for our accommodation there for five days. And we need also flight tickets. So we're hoping uh, to receive the uh, other money uh, by GoFundMe. Right now we have gathered around 366 euros from uh, friends, relatives and other people. And uh, yes, but there is little amount left of time. So that's why we're appealing to you, uh, our um, loyal viewers. We know that many of you want to help Armenia. This is an amazing uh, opportunity to help in very, very practical terms because this research uh, uh, into the effects of Wi-Fi rays on uh, human human cells and uh, also cancer cells. Is that right? It's really, really important, and uh, I just think it's something that you know we could be like world leader almost in, in this kind of research and you want to continue this as well yeah, sure. this kind of research yes. so for those of you I know some of you really want to help uh, you just heard Mane mention about uh, GoFundMe page and also if you'd like to uh, to send money directly you can write to me in person and uh, we can arrange for you to be able to send money directly to our bank account which will forward on to Mane and Mahir and uh, you're a teacher of course? Yes. Okay great, so we'll do that and we really hope that it, we've got about two months or six weeks uh, to raise the rest of the money. Less than two months. Less than two months. Month and a half. Okay. Yes. Uh, we can see many many people, many young kids doing different researches doing different works and they're very passionate about education but unfortunately there is I can say that there is little support for young kids who want to develop their uh, scientific skills they have goals they have dreams but uh, I, I, I would say that there is little support from government here it is important to uh, support those kids who are working for the future for Armenia because this generation uh, is holding the future of our country. You know, it's been a real delight for us to meet you both. Yeah, uh, we didn't get to meet the, uh, the other half of your team. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, honestly, uh, we wish you all success for the future. Uh, Maher, Mane, any parting words that you'd like to, to say about, about anything? Anything that we've talked about? Or... We are just uh, very uh, glad uh, to meet you. <laughs> and uh, to get uh, this kind of support from you because mm. it's very um, good opportunity to uh, find a uh, some good of, uh, people uh, who want to help the young scientists because uh, government uh, want to help the, only the PhD students uh, not uh, students like us uh, they say you are too young too young for uh, to get help uh, so uh, we just 
we're happy. <laughs> So everyone, thank you so much for that. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, look, you, you just heard how passionate they are and how difficult it is to be able to um, develop themselves. These people have got amazing potential. For those of you out there who are passionate about this country, we appeal to you once again, open your hearts and even open your wallets to help these people uh, represent not just themselves and their project but represent Armenia and put Armenian uh, science uh, research on the map. On the international platform. Yeah, on the international platform. So uh, on behalf of myself and behalf of my wife who's there tirelessly holding the camera, <laughs> I want to say uh, thanks for both of you to take the time out of your day. I understand you're both studying for exams now. And we hope okay, for so, good. and we wish you all the best. God blessing for both we of hope you, for good income. and uh, for a good oh, outcome uh, for for your project. Well, thank you for uh, thank you. your time, uh, yeah. finding time to. It's my our pleasure, totally yeah. our pleasure. So, it's bye from Mitch, and bye from and bye from Sonia behind the camera. Yeah, bye. bye, -bye. We love you. Bye bye.